but impressive. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Washington Commanders. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Here's Gibson to start the drive. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 27, Powell. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, Hal to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Ten yards there, good for Washington first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Looking to throw again on second down. Powell looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game, like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Back to the ground with Robinson, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winging in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Six yards left on second down. Second down, Hal back to pass. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 18. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. Second down and a run by Robinson. 
And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Hal throwing on third down here. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through, and it's 3-0 Washington. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well. So your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. down Purdy open man is Samuel complete and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line <laughs> to throw again on second down Purdy the first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Nice job. Nice patience right there. Put him on the right side. Let him work his way across. Put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. And they run the option here on first and 10. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers from others to make the play. Not in this case. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10.
Hal to the air on first and ten. And Tom, and oh, he coughed it up. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. First down, here's Mitchell. And able to get this to the 31. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 31, Purdy. That's Samuel caught left side. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Another run, this time McCaffrey. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Whenever we're talking about the best of the safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Now Purdy. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of two there, second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. On second down, McCaffrey. Gets past one man. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football and if you're going to throw. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Elijah Mitchell taking it in from two yards out. And the 49ers have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. 
And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember, last drive they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown. Oh, Hal loses it. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second and nine, Powell got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. Robinson up the middle. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And Howe will throw it. And that is incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod.
And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. From the 22, here's second and eight. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The Niners on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. The throwing here, Purdy. Oh, the Commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Thirty-three yards is the distance on the punt there, and Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and ten. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Second down, Hal now. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Dancing to his... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. They start on the ground with McCaffrey, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now, with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. Looking to throw on second down. Purdy. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Back to throw, Purdy. 
That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game, you know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. On second and ten, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Finding room at midfield. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 42. 25 yards there on the catch and run. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. There's Purdy on first and 10 toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Charlie Warner, the tight end, the intended target. And it's third down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Purdy now to throw. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. Gonzalez's kick is good, and they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. From the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And here we go on the next drive for Washington. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. First down, Hal to throw. Flushed out right. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. On the counter, this is Robinson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, 
But the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, here's Gibson again, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Throwing here, Howell. And that is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Sly able to put this one through. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17 to 6. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. They've had a very solid first half, and as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters, meaning after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? The adjustment to the adjustment. Exactly. So I can't wait to see if we come out of the half how they're going to go about doing things. Do you just keep running what you ran before, or do you go to your counters expecting those adjustments to happen? Before that, we'll see the end here of this first half. 
Now on first down, it's Purdy. Got an open man, it's McLeod. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Purdy to throw it on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Purdy. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Purdy will look to throw again here. He's got the hookup, and it's a fumble. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On first down, Purdy. That's to McCaffrey complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Five yards remain on second down. Purdy looking to throw. Now the pressure gets there and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. The downside for the defense that they're dealing with a team that's in their red zone, but the upside, not much room to work with for the offense. Fewer windows in the zone for them to throw into. Tough for a quarterback to get a throw off before the pressure ends up getting to him. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And they're able to corral him right around the eight, and that's short of the first down. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. This from 25 yards out. Gonzalez's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. One final possession for the commanders in this opening half. 
And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Got a man, that's Ayuk. Two catches in the first half, now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. From the 40 now on second down. Purdy connects with Kittle underneath. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Here's Purdy. And this is going to be incomplete. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. A first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at about the 32. Al throwing on first down here. This a quick slant, and he's got Terry McLaurin. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Again, it's Robinson. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. But well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Woo! 
second and six. A give up the middle to Gibson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Powell. Able to connect with Dotson. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. On first down, Hal. And a dump off here to Robinson. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Hand off now to Robinson. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 61 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. This pass complete to McLaurin going across the middle. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing again on second down. Powell steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. With a play fake, and now here's Hal to throw it. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Commanders have got it back to within a score. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. They're able to complete this one to McLeod. 
And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. But couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. They run over center with Mitchell to about the 35, second down. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down and eight. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Purdy with it on third and long. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Taking it about the 16. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they can actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. A good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Purdy from the gun. And this one is incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. This will be from 49 yards out. Gonzalez's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. Taking it about the one. Here's Antonio Gibson. The Washington offense set to take over. 
Well, this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last timeout on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On second and 15 now, Powell. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. A gain of eight there on the play. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Powell throwing on third down here. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. The Nick Bosa so quick on the outside. He gets in there to bring him down. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Here's Tressway now. Standing just outside his own goal line. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at the 40. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Cody Barton there to bring him down. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second and seven, Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. stopped up at about the 47 yard line give him a couple on the carry there second and eight now they'll run the option to the short side left he'll get two on the keeper but it becomes now a third down Incomplete. 
That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into him because they were there to help break that pass up. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Washington ready to try again on offense. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Second down, Hal back to pass. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper, 17 yards, first down. So finally, at this stage of the game, he lets his legs carry him for a big-time first down. But I think this is all set up by his eyes throughout the game. He's been taking it all in as he's watched this thing unfold. And finally, the eyes carried the legs and took him downfield. You're right, his longest run of the game, waited until the fourth quarter, and maybe that lulled the defense to sleep a little bit. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's the option going right. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw right set. And now the ball's out. Fumble near 
midfield. And it's Washington that scoops it up. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score gain. So hold on here, not done in the fourth. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Second down and a run by Robinson. Gets by him at the 25. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 73 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now how? And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it for eight. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. On the draw, it's Gibson. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. This time, they'll throw it with Hal. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. Two yards on the pickup there. And now third down and six to go. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. From the gun on third down, Hal. And he's got it, got his man on the end route, complete. Touchdown, Terry McLaurin with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And San Francisco gets set to go here. 
Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled, it led to a touchdown. One score game here, got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next drive. That mantra has to come to the front. They've got to take care of business right here and act like the last series just didn't happen. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. Pretty throw complete here to IU. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And throwing here, Purdy. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They run with McCaffrey off the option. Down to about the 22 here. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. take a knee all 
A second and 11 from the 19. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run. Not the one that's going to break for big yardage. But he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead. You're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So the victory here for San Francisco. And this not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours. Right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee, when we had to go from east to west, our trainer Tim Karen said, leave your